about my sister, Lucy, and I tried to incorporate how she can be really sweet but also very cheeky at the same time. It's a self-portrait of me and it's about my life in different countries. Egypt, that's where I got the flowers idea from. Um, Kenya, that's where I got the monkey. And London. It took 10 weeks to complete the painting. It was a spur of the moment kind of like a painting uh, when I was sick actually, like just at home with acrylic and like I wanted to keep it quite loose and like emotive so you can like still see some of the pencil strokes and like brush marks. We got a book, Princess Mirabelle, and then we were so inspired by it so we thought we could paint a picture of it. And Jessica did that half so that's Francesca, that's her half and that's my half. I tried to paint a picture. I showed it to my mom, she dropped it on the floor. I had to do it again. Clumsy. I got the idea from my last visit to our aquarium. There was like a part where you can look closely to deep sea creatures. The kind of inspiration or need for me to create it was based on like my relationship with my body as a non-binary person and just kind of highlighting that we all exist in this quite like binary form biologically but that still doesn't mean that gender cannot be an exploration of that. I made this artwork inspired by David Hockney. All I had was glue and scissors. <laughs> I decided to base my artwork on the war in Ukraine and the refugees fleeing the country. I used tin foil and a bit of gardening wire. Well, my piece here is of my dad. It feels kind of quite amazing to be around this other artwork. But yeah, it's having his face kind of in the middle of it all is quite strange. I honestly can't believe that it's in the Royal Academy. I feel really proud because I'm seeing all of the artworks and they're all so incredible.